today I want to show you retouching on the iPad Pro with Affinity Photo and I think it's best to show you by example to see the potential of it. So this is an image of my son a few years ago. I'm going to do some edits and I'm going to show you. I noticed he has some bed head back then. Um, he didn't comb his hair that particular day so I'm going, to, I'm going to clone that out using a tool called in-paint brushing and you just use the pencil and that's it. If you make a mistake you can always undo. It's that easy. Um, next, if you look at the scone in the background, I don't want it in the image, so I'm going to clone that out real quick. So everything I'm doing is just on the fly. I mean, you could spend more time doing this, but doing it this quickly just to show you how fast you can work. That's fast, isn't it? So the flower pot, I know, noticed it's a bit wilted. I want to clone that out. This is not going to be perfect, but it's going to show you how fast you can go in, spend a little bit more time, finesse the edges. but. That's how fast it is. It's amazing, huh? And that little piece to the door, I want to clone that out as well. Maybe some creases in his pants. So this is a powerful tool using the pencil. And this is done on Affinity Photo. You can't really do this even in Photoshop. I mean, it's going to take a much more work. Next thing I want to do is I want to do a dodge and burn. Uh, you've probably done this in, in Photoshop. So what you want to do is create a layer, fill it with 50% opacity, set the mode to overlay. So I'm going to burn in some uh, some detail. Um, you can't do that with a preset. So you need to do it by you know by pixel or by area. So I want to burn in that shirt of his using the pencil to make it darker to give it some pop. And this is how um, burning works. As you can see, just select the pixel brush and just paint away. And we can apply pressure with the pencil to make it darker or lighter or set the opacity. But it's fairly easy. As you can see, the shirt's getting darker without affecting the entire image. That's the burn technique. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Um, the app is $20. Um, I want to burn in some detail on his legs. So I notice I did it too dark, so you always undo. And if you, you can also do multiple layers. Or if it gets too dark, sometimes I just do a blur and I set the opacity. Right now it's it's too dark, but um, I'm just doing this to to demonstrate what you can do. See Gaussian blur, blur it out a little bit, maybe decrease the opacity. I'm gonna duplicate this layer. Maybe I'm gonna redo it again. Maybe not. Who knows? So if you duplicate it, I'll double darken it. So what I want to do is I just want to clean that out. Uh, re restart from scratch if I wanted to. And by just restarting, you could just paint 50% gray, paint over that, that one layer, and, or delete. But I'm, I'm going to do a different layer for, for something else. Um, see there? I'm going to burn in my house uh, to give it some more pop. So I'm going to darken the wood. See how that works? So this is showing you by example the potential of Affinity Photo. It's just like Photoshop, but in a mobile device. Take this anywhere. I'm editing while I'm you know watching my kids at karate or at the park or playing. Um, that's a, that's why it's powerful. Burn in some of that walnut, make it darker. Maybe burn in the leather because this is a JPEG image, so there's some noise in it. Oh, one other thing. So when I earlier I cloned that that wall piece out, I noticed it was too dark. So I'm going to do the opposite of burn, and that is dodging. So I'm just going to dodge and make it brighter, that spot brighter. Hit the dodge and just paint away. See, as you can see, you can blend in things like, I use this for like reflections and stuff like that. Sometimes I can take pictures of watches and notice the glare. I'll, I'll, I'll dodge and burn. I'll make the dark spots darker or maybe it's light, even it out. So this is dodge and burn. And you can group them. So those are three different layers. And I'm toggling on and off so you can see the differences. So this is a new edit. I'm going to show you um, some previous edits as well. Put this everything into this group here. Dupl you can duplicate the group, delete the group, what have you. So this is a previous edit that I did. I spent a little bit more time with. So you can see I'm going to toggle on and off as you can see. The shirt, the face, see the, the shadows in his face, and the highlights. See that's how powerful Affinity Photo is.
notice before and after, notice the legs. So the nice thing about Affinity Photo is you can also export out as PSDs and import them into Photoshop. So this is the my layer, layers of edits. And this is all non-destructive, so nothing is happening to the actual file until you save it out. Um, but the actual file is the bottom layer, so you're not really worried about destroying it. Or you can create new ones. So I'm going to save this out as a, as a PSD, um, save it to my iCloud, and open up on my Mac. So I'm on the go, I'm on the field, I did my edits, I go home, open up Photoshop, there it is. Um, one little glitch though, sometimes the groups don't work so in Photoshop, Affinity Photos, so I just have to pull my, my layers out of that group. And you can see I'm just going to delete that, that group folder. I'm going to delete those other ex edits. But I'm going to toggle on and off in Photoshop. So this is on the desktop, and you can see um, all those edits carry through. So again, Affinity Photo, 